Scorpio, hello. For those of you who have been here before, welcome back to you. And for those of you who it is your first time, welcome to you. This is Surrender to the Flow Tarot. I'm Denise, and I will be doing a timeless general reading for the collective of Scorpio. So that's Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Ascendant. It's a general reading. It might not resonate with everybody. If it does, take what does and leave the rest. Um, be careful not to stick yourself into stories that aren't yours. I think today it'll be pretty obvious because what we're doing is ancestral readings and we're asking for a message from your ancestors, whatever ancestors have joined us, um, what gener generational gifts they have passed on to you and how you can best use those gifts. And we are using the Magdalene Oracle for your message. For your gifts, we're going to use some combination of these three decks, the Starseed Oracle, the Isis Oracle, and the Beyond Lemuria Oracle. And then I have four tarot decks pulled for how to best use your gifts, and we'll figure that out in the moment, and I'll let you know what deck is chosen. Okay, so Scorpios, are you ready for your message? I ready for your message that just came in my head I thought I was <laughs> Ooh. a bunch of weird things happening in my body it's like my throat is catching okay let's see Sophia is what you got. If you do not know who Sophia is, Google Sophia Gnosticism, G-N-O-T-C-I-S-M, I think. Sism, how are C-I-S, right? Um, look up Thunder Perfect Mind. Okay. Sophia. I'm very much Sophia, so it's really interesting that this came up in, in Scorpio reading, which I have no Scorpionic placements, I don't think. Um, definitely not my first three. So, Sophia, someone dear to you needs your love and support at the moment, perhaps even your forgiveness. Put aside any recent disagreements. Let it all go and make up. Deep down, you both know that you love each other. Life is too short to waste. Adopt a loving attitude for love will heal all things. True, 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 true. Honor and respect each other's differences. Individuality is sacred. That's so beautiful, that's so true. I should get a tattoo that says that. It should go like right here. I don't think I have enough space. Uh, whatever <laughs> sorry you are both beautiful souls through love and forgiveness a world of infinite possibility and contentment awaits you so unconditional love Scorpio which you are a water sign and you are all about this you're all about embodying it but with Scorpios I think it tends up to be like the darker sides of it because you also really um resonate with the the deeply darkly romantic parts of the pain of love you know what i mean that resonates strongly i think probably with scorpios um so sophia is all about sophia is one of the aspects of this source and the source broke off so in catholicism it's father son and holy ghost sophia is the holy spirit or the holy ghost right sophia is mary magdalene Sophia it was Mary Magdalene, which is Jesus's divine counterpart. It's the emperor and the empress. You feel me? I am Sophia. Um, that came to me channeled once. And I had no idea at the time what I was saying. <laughs> I 
And then when I learned about it, it made so much sense for me. It totally clicked for me about how I connect with people. And so I guess if you are a person who has saved people or felt like, you know, you're, you're, you're attracted, you resonate with that's what I think maybe the flip, the switch that needs to be flipped in your head is attract, flip attraction and put resonate with who you may or may not be also physically attracted to. But what was I saying? Are people who are still needing healing because Sophia's job, her whole entire purpose is to realign the splintered pieces of the one back with the one and that often comes through sexual encounters but it doesn't always need to be that they're not exclusive okay and maybe you get yourself caught up in relationships with people where the levels your vibrational levels your maturity levels aren't equal you know what i'm saying um this is about being unconditional love but not not allowing this we're not talking about abuse okay we're not talking about something that happened that's abusive that's that's not what we're talking about here we're talking about something that isn't toxic or abusive um and if it is toxic there's a pos there's still the probability that it can be healed not a possibility out there as it exists but a probability you understand what i'm saying this is what I'm this is what I mean when I say if it resonates and it doesn't. You have to like discern, use these discerning things to see how it resonates with you. Okay, let's see what your gift is, Scorpio. And we're using ooh. This song just came in. Ooh, boy, I love you so. Never ever ever gonna let you go. Once I get my hands on you. Ooh, boy, I love you so. Never, ever, ever gonna let you go. I hope you feel the same way, too. Girl, I do. <laughs> it came a Kwame song, but it was sampled for something else. I don't know why they just came in my head. But, Scorpio, Starseed. I'm going, my, I'm like stuck on the Starseed and the Isis. So I'm gonna start with the Starseed and then see if we need the Isis. Oh my, it just said yes, so <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna take it now. Okay. I just do what it's told what I'm told as long as it aligns with my highest vibrational frequency, then Okay. What generational gifts are passed on to Scorpio? Okay, you got lost lands, soul memories and gifts. You've done this before. And you got temple of lapis laz lazuli. lazuli. So see if any of these things, any of these symbols or colors, and you should probably get yourself some of this um, resonate with you. Your soul is very ancient and holds the wisdom of star peoples from civilizations with unique high vibrational awareness that can help humanity transition from a culture based in fear to a love based community. You are here on this planet to be you to the fullest extent possible. Then you will help heal human culture so that the planet may thrive. There you go. <laughs> that was your gift and like how to do it. But uh, let's look at lost lands. Okay.
The world is far more ancient than our documented history suggests. As souls, many of us have experienced ancient eras on this planet that were much more advanced than ours today. As we begin to remember these times, the rememberings and gifts can come flooding back. Crown chakra opening. I remember what your chakra was last week. Ooh, I should look that up. That'd be interesting. At this stage in Earth's timeline, we need the wisdom of the ancients to survive as, as a species. You're being called to connect with the lost wisdom of your own soul. If you feel guided to make a change in your life, but feel unprepared, this card is calling you to consider that you've done this before. Perhaps your soul has wisdom beyond what your lifespan can imagine. Perhaps, perhaps the intuitive hits and ideas you're receiving are divinely guided. This is about faith. This is about having faith which totally goes in alignment with Sophia, which is all about having faith, right? She is faith. Perhaps you've been preparing for this time. Some think that lost lands exist in the past. Others believe they exist today in a different dimension. I believe these ancient lands also exist in the souls of those who experience them. If this card comes to you, perhaps the wisdom of lost lands such as Lemuria, L-E-M-U-R-I-A, Atlantis, and Avalon, Google those, exist within you. And through surrendering to the intelligence of your soul, you can unlock the seeds of these ancient lands so we can all learn from our mistakes and usher in a new age. So it's about having the knowledge and sharing it, right? And I think the way that you share it, Scorpio, is through love, is through intimacy. So whatever way that resonates and whatever level, because it doesn't have to be sexual intimacy, it just has to be intimate, intimacy. You have an intimacy with your parents, with your kids, you know what I mean? With your best friends. So think of it like that. So... You're supposed to put this on your heart and say this, but I'm going to hold it up here so you can look at it and then you can pause it and say it while you look at this, okay? I unlock any forgetting, forgetting. <laughs> I unlock any forgotten wisdom and soul gifts from lifetimes past. All right, let's see how you can best use your gifts. Good to row. Scorpio, how can you best use these gifts? Hmm, this is really dope. You, Scorpio, are cups, right? The suit that you embody are cups, which is emotions. And what you got on the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Air, which is, um, why in my head I thought this was water, is swords. Swords. So weird that I saw it that way. And the Ace of Water. Hold on. That is you, but. It's third eye and heart chakra. With a little bit of solar plexus and a little bit of sacral chakra, okay? Um, I think I saw it as, as water because it's blue, the card is blue, and it also feels, even though these are floating in air, it felt like floating in water. It very much felt to me like this was water. And this, even though I knew it was clouds and feathers, but in my head, that's how it translated. Okay, so the way that you can best use your gifts is to not drive yourself bananas. 
eight of of swords of air is anxiety. It's when you become so misaligned with yourself, far removed from who your authentic self is, that you are un, you're having a difficult time now discerning between your intuition and your and your fear thoughts and your thoughts, intuition and your thoughts. And they are and your the thoughts are winning, your beta brain is winning. And all of your fears that are underneath those are taking hold. But all you have to do, all you have to do, because it's so easy. No, I know it's not easy, okay? But be aware that anxiety is you, you're prone to it and what your triggers are and how to keep yourself aligned. And that is becoming one, the ace of water is a gift from the divine, from the universe. It is a brand new beginning for you of a heart kind. It is first and foremost, the relationship between you, yourself and the, and the universe that coming into communion, you accepting and seeing that you are a reflection of the universe and you are the reflection that manifests itself in the love, in the way of love. I know that people don't normally think of love and Scorpio as the same thing, but you are, okay? It's healing that, it's becoming that, it's having that as your foundation. And when you have that all in alignment, your anxiety is not going to be as prevalent. You know what I mean? Or not even there. Okay, Scorpio. It's about unconditional love, right? But it's about unconditional love born from the knowledge, the deep knowing and being and feeling, being and becoming of the love that the universe the source energy is love and being connected in with that part. Okay. I hope this helped Scorpio. Thank you for coming back and sharing your energy with me again. And I will see you next week. Bye Scorpio.